All right, YouTubers. We're here with a plastic carburetor. Came off of this uh, Murray mower, brand new. Used just a couple times, sat, ethanol's in it, clogged up. Ethanol is a scourge, so don't use ethanol in small engines if you're going to let them sit. If you're going to run them every day and then drain them, that's fine. But uh, if you let it sit in the carburetor, you're going to be doing what this is called uh, carburetor clean-out of the gunk. So real simply, this is a plastic carburetor, Briggs & Stratton, 5 horsepower motor. You're going to see them a lot. So here's what you do. Take these things apart. You can get to this point. And there's some 7 millimeter bolts holding down the bottom. And that is the bottom of the carburetor where the gas develops and the float works. So, real simple. Take this apart. Okay, now you've got a float. And if you have a little screwdriver or something, you can pop up. Take that out of your way. On the bottom of that should be a little needle valve that just fell off. So that's always exciting. Okay, so we grab the needle valve. It sits underneath the float, right? Slides into that and it just sits there and goes up and down and that's what stops the fuel from going in the bowl. So everybody's kind of familiar with carburetors or you probably wouldn't be playing with this, but this is plastic. So I've cheated, I've already had this out, and I've already cleaned it, but let me tell you what you do. You get a screwdriver and you just go in the side, and you wiggle down and go no more than an eighth, and you pry this up. This piece just pops out. That's the real question you've got if you've opened this up. Now it doesn't look like this, it actually comes with the next piece. And that piece slides down on this little collar. And that's it. And it sits on this little nubbin. And so in order to get this piece off, you're going to take a screwdriver and you're just going to pry it in here real lightly. Don't bear down too hard and break this. Don't move this shaft back and forth. There's nothing to this. It just has to be wiggled. Once you get up a little bit, then you can start moving it like this. Okay, so that's, that's a trick. You get these pieces apart. Make sure your O-rings aren't bad. Then you gotta get something real small to clean out these two ports. So here's one, and what I did was I took braided wire because I, I didn't have my welding settling cleaner around, and so I just wound together a few strands to decide the size, and then you can poke it in there and get the debris out of this, and that gives you a nice surface to kind of clean and ream out any debris that's on the sides. Don't damage it, don't put a pin that's too big or make the hole bigger clean it okay so there's hole one the next one right here we're going to put it in there we're going to clean that out okay so once those two are clean that's probably almost your problem and then the shaft that's hidden has some holes here you need to be able to see right through those so take a little carb cleaner I'm going to do it right here so you can see Get some safety glass on. Don't shoot this stuff backwards and just barely give it a little. Okay, doesn't take much, but you need to know that it's cleaned out in there. You can go back this way. Again, don't shoot it into your eyes. I'm trying to be easy on this. Okay, there we go. Almost at me. All right, so wear your safety glasses. Once you got that cleaned, you can give that little guy a squirt. For good measure, he doesn't come out except in the side. Very hard to find his exit port, but you're good. Then clean these out. Put something in here, and you'll see it coming out the little... Make sure these are clean. Go in here and hit each hole. And that's going to come out through the throat of the carburetor. Make sure everything's not gunked up. And you get the outside real good. I'm doing this kind of light because it's in pretty good shape, brand new. All right, so everything's working. Now, there's only one trick to getting this back together, and that is this inner piece. There's a white piece down here, and if you don't push that in and get it back set back into position, 
it won't give you a hole here to place your center shaft into. Now the only other question is we got to put this back together. So there you have it, real simple. And then this is actually going to fall like that because we want that nubbin in this one that's a dead headed little valve here. And then this one has an o-ring. That's the key is it's going to go back in the higher hole in your carburetor. So don't get them backwards and push it in there and break it. Just nice and easy. So we're going to put this back together. And this is tight. Okay, I had to get up and put it by my chest and push with both hands real straight. And I was able to get this to seat here. Leaves a little room. And again, the screwdriver goes in here. And this is how we're going to work it up to take this section off. That's, that's the hardest part of this. Once you've got this, your O-ring goes in the tallest slot. So, in other words, the O-ring goes away from the needle valve. I'm going to give this a squirt out here. And that looks pretty good. And there you have it. Now we're just going to reset this. Right in there, get it real straight. And be sure, again, that we push this in. It has to have an opening. If you, It's hard to see in there. I'd like to get a light, but there's a hole down there. And it has a little thing that gets in the way there. Now I can't get that into that hole. So I'm going to bring it back, and I'm going to tap it in there and push it in there. I push it in with my finger, and I can see clearly actually my finger, and the hole is clear. So that's going to allow me to drop this in. Real easy. And that is done. And then we're going to set this back in and put this back together. I think most of you are playing with this, know exactly what you're up to. Okay, there I got that. And that's in. Now, we're going to put this back together. And I'm not so sure that it really matters which direction this slot is, but I'm going to go this direction because it's pointing the same way as this pipe and that makes sense to me that it would allow it to bring the fuel in. Here we go. And that's it. This carb is back together and ready to go. Thanks, YouTubers.